Classic Truck Rescue. This is Rick. I'm making this video for a customer of mine because he ordered an entire uh, emergency brake package from me. His truck had none of the brackets or anything to do with the emergency brake when he got it. And I already pulled his parts and they're all packaged and everything, but uh, the photos that I took of where each part is located and what order they go in and all that uh, didn't come out so I'm gonna go ahead and make an e-brake video and this might help some other people showing the complete e-brake system on 1955 to 59 Chevy and GMC trucks this will only apply to the uh, trucks that have the under the dash uh, emergency brake handle uh, the other trucks the larger trucks generally had one that came up out of the floor next to the shifter but today we're going to cover the standard you know half ton uh, long or, or short bed chevy and gmc truck 55 to 59 e-brake system for the ones that are equipped with the e-brake handle under the dash like this one so to operate this you squeeze it and then pull it towards you not so much with this one because it's pretty rusty don't worry jim your parts aren't coming off this truck uh but so you have your handle here that bolts to a support on the bottom of the dash it's the same support that holds your steering column mount and it's bolted on there with three bolts half inch bolts so the first thing i always do is pull those bolts out and then there's this rod that attaches to that handle with a cotter pin on the top and that rod goes through the floorboard and after it goes through the floorboard it comes out the other side and there is a little uh, tin bracket that holds like a grommet um, at the floorboard and then the rod continues and connects to this bracket which mounts this bracket right here which mounts to the top of the frame with two rivets right here the rod connects to the top of a swivel arm that goes into the bracket and is held on with another cotter pin i don't know if you can see that right there but you pull that cotter pin and the spring and washer and hang on to them and then this bracket slides out of this bracket this way and then uh but before you do that take this cotter pin out which is missing on this one but there should be one there and you pull this pin out and pull this off and then you have your e-brake handle and this rod pull the other cotter pin on this bracket pull that bracket off and then down below there's a bracket down here that connects a cable that runs along the frame that cable right there that connects right there with that bracket runs along the frame and to a wheel which I will show next because I do have one of those off and that wheel bolts to the side of the frame That wheel is right here. Hope you can see it there. That's it right there. That wheel right there bolts to the side of the frame with two more half inch bolts. And then that cable runs to the center of the frame and connects back here to this linkage. I'll show a better video of this um, that I made earlier when I was removing this customer's parts. Um, but that's the setup that bolts up to the top of the frame with two brackets. One here and one right here. Then your cables bolt to that and go back. But I actually already covered that when I removed his brackets because I did videotape that part. So I'll be back. quick video for one of my customers he needs a complete emergency brake package for his truck so I'm gonna start at the back I'm sending him absolutely everything he needs except the 
cables that go to each rear axle and this is a cab of a 57 Chevy truck I've got here's the uh, setup on the frame that's uh, directly under the back of the cab so there are two brackets that are uh, riveted to the frame and I will have to cut those off this is one of the brackets right here and there's another one right here and I'll show you these on the frame that I'm actually going to take them off but this is how it's set up you've got this arm right here that goes between the two brackets and one of them slotted and then the other end of that arm hooks in to this bracket on the right over here and then there's a cable right here that runs over to the frame and there's a wheel and a bracket to bolt onto the frame and I'll show you that uh, and then you've got these two arms that come off and your e-brake cables this is the right one goes go back from here to each wheel so you'll be getting all of this stuff right here and then I'll move forward and show you how the rest of it attaches but this is how these two brackets go on the cross member on the frame right here and I'll give you a better shot of that another thing that I'm going to send you is this uh, I don't this metal hook right here and this spring the spring goes back to the frame right there and then this metal hook right here I think you had mentioned doing something about a little something custom on your truck if that's the case save this right here and make the equivalent of it that's the right length to give you the tension on this arm right here basically this spring right here takes the slack out of this cable right here that goes up and this cable goes uh, to a wheel that's attached to the inside of the frame and a bracket and then it goes up to the front of the truck and I'll show you that part too but this is where I'm getting all that bracketry from because that's a complete setup on that 57 Chevy and I do have stacks of old frames so those brackets that I was telling you about are right here so basically the one on the right here attaches to the top of this cross member with two rivets and I'll cut those off and then this other bracket over here that's got the slot in it for this thing um, is attached by two rivets one here and one over on the other side right there so I'll get all this stuff off put together a video for a customer of mine uh, that I'm putting a complete brake package together for his truck has none of the original emergency brake package stuff and my camera's been messing up so so I'm going with the GoPro right now and I'm hoping this will get this done anyway uh, I pulled this rod off this is the rod that goes through the firewall and connects to the e-brake handle inside and I noticed this spot on it and uh, that's not going to work and I was bummed out because I kind of have a strict rule of only pulling parts off of parts trucks and I didn't have any other parts trucks that had that rod on it I consider a truck a parts truck if it's too much work and too many parts are required to make it a project truck a project truck is a truck that I feel like I can add some parts to it uh, that it's missing or that are damaged and somebody could build that truck so we leave the project trucks together but I did find another cab that had a good one on it so I was glad to see that anyway um, I can't see what's on the screen so I hope this works out all right but uh, this is the bracket that bolts to the top of your frame on the driver's side and this is for uh, half ton trucks uh, some three-quarter tons do have this brake style on them but not many anyway this is for mainly half ton trucks with the e-brake handle that bolts up under the dash so this is the bracket that bolts to the top of the frame in front of the steering box and uh, this is the rod that connects to that bracket and this swivel bracket and goes through through this bracket that has this looks like a felt bushing behind it and goes through the firewall and those are the screws that hold this bracket to the firewall anyway once the rod goes through the firewall it then connects to the e-brake handle and the hole in the rod is always facing up 
and it has this washer and a small cotter pin you'll need to replace all your cotter pins don't use if i accidentally include a cotter pin it's a mistake you should always use new cotter pins especially on your e-brake but uh, the handle needs to be set up just like this there's a a reinforcement up under your dash that your steering column bolts to this bolts to that same bracket there'll be three threaded holes there um, if your truck still has that bracket and it should because that's what your steering column mounts to but anyway so you put this bracket on first and these three bolts go through the e-brake handle assembly and these bolt heads will be facing down and you use these spacers it's important because this bracket is angled so these spacers make up for that angle and keep the bolt heads straight otherwise it'd be cockeyed and there'd be stress on these bolt heads this small bracket right here is a keeper for your turn signal harness you put that in there fold it over and it keeps it from hanging down so that covers the cab and firewall and top of the frame section then this swivel bracket that bolts to the bracket that bolts to, it's actually riveted your frame but you'll bolt it on has a hole in the bottom this pin goes through that hole to hold on this bracket right here and this bracket has a, a hole for the pin but also so that the ball on the end of this cable can go in there like that and then your cable attaches to this assembly like this and you put that pin through there and put a new cotter pin this pin goes through there and then you put a cotter pin on that okay then that cable this cable will go along your frame of your truck and then this bracket right here bolts to the inside of the driver's side of your frame and there should still be two holes that this will fit on back by your master cylinder actually it should be a little bit behind your master cylinder but look for the holes that this uh, bolts to and then what that does is allow your cable to go through here and then divert to the center of the frame in the back and I've made other videos showing that setup but this is the other end of that cable the other end of that cable then goes with a pin to right here and is held with a cotter pin and I'll make sure you get that too I'll make sure you have all of your pins here's another pin so you use this pin right here and put a new cotter pin on it to hold the cable to this bracket and I've done, already done another video showing how all this attaches to the frame. And uh, your emergency brake cables that go to uh, your brake drums themselves attach right here. One goes to the driver's side, the other one goes to the passenger side. You may or may not need to use this little extension right here, but this is the spring that goes from here to another hole in your rear cross member just behind that setup. I hope that explains everything for you if you have any questions feel free to give me a call you got my number classic truck rescue getting ready to box one up something important i forgot to mention is that uh your uh, emergency brake system does have adjustments on it uh the main adjustment is back coming off of your emergency brake cables where they come into these brackets there's a lot of adjustment there but there's also a lot of adjustment in this rod right here that goes through your fireball. And that adjustment is right here. So if you're just installing one of these uh, e-brake rods, it may be worth your while to clean this stuff up and break all this free so that you can adjust the angle of how that it goes into your handle and also whether or not you have slack uh, up under the hood. Just a note.